Welcome back to another HPL video. Today I am with Nate and we are going to be discussing um, the Kristaps Porzingis trade that took place today. But before we get into that, um, it's been our it's our first video uh, in a while. Um, so just wanted to talk about some of the things that we're going to be doing uh, in the upcoming weeks and months. Obviously the NFL draft. Um, we are planning on doing a whole bunch of different things with that and... Um, I'm looking at doing some uh, prospect rankings of different positions and things like that and videos for that. And so that will happen. And But today we're going to be doing the um, trade. So what do you think of that? Yeah, the trade, it's definitely a, like a mixed bag kind of thing. I, I can see why the Knicks did it, and I understand trading. I mean, granted he's hurt, but he was really, really a good player, all-star caliber before he was hurt. But do you really want to trade him for Dennis Smith? who you could have taken anyway. Yeah, that, that is a point. But um, just some background for this. Anyway, a report comes out today uh, at 1.44 uh, Eastern Standard Time from uh, Woj saying that uh, Porzingis was concerned about the Knicks' direction in a meeting that he had with ownership. And then at 2.54, a report comes out that he would prefer to be traded. And at 3.38 p.m. today, Dallas is finalizing a trade with the Knicks. So this just shows how quick this whole thing moved, which is very – it's rare to see um, in trades today. Usually, you know, reports come out that they're looking to be traded, and it takes like maybe a week, two weeks for stuff to actually start happening. But this was just a matter of hours. And to me, it's very clear that this all went down last night between Cuban and Dolan as Dallas was actually visiting the Knicks uh, in New York. And it's still crazy to see how quick it came about. Yeah, there, I don't know. It, there's no way this was all done today. I mean, last night, I was looking on Twitter when the trade happened, and uh, there's like a video of uh, Doncic and Porzingis like getting all buddy-buddy on the sideline, like greeting each yeah. other. So there's no way they didn't know about it already last night. This had to have been going on. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, but the actual trade is Porzingis, uh, Trey Burke, and Cor Courtney Lee, and Tim Hardaway Jr. for Dennis Smith Jr., Wesley Matthews, and DeAndre Jordan. So what do you think about the Knicks' return? I mean, I think it just sets the Knicks up like for a better future. Like Getting Dennis Smith is obviously good. I like Dennis Smith. Uh, and it was good to dump some of the salaries like Courtney Lee and Tim Hardaway to really try to go for a run at uh, what KD, Kyrie, who else? I mean, who else is out next year? That's a lot. There's a lot of guys. There's so many guys that are going to be out in free agency next year. So if they're really going to try to push for some of them, it was worth – I think the trade was worth it in that sense. But they never get big players the Knicks. So unless they yeah, that's sure true. they can do it, then I don't know. Yeah. Um, so uh, – um, so, Chris Hospital is coming off of an ACL injury. We still don't really know when he's going to return, and how will he return from this? I don't know. He's going to be reevaluated in mid-February, which will be over a year since he suffered his injury. Do you think he'll be the same player? Um, well, we saw Embiid. He was able – I mean, he didn't have an ACL tear, but he was able to overcome all his foot problems. I mean, I think it's possible, sure, but maybe not quite as good as he was. I have no idea. I'm, just, I'm guessing he'll be around the same, to be honest. Yeah, and I mean, I you know, he I think he had an All Star appearance, but he's not very established no. um, in this league. And he, something that concerns me, he only has one point three assists. Um, he's only averaging one point three assists for his career. Really? That's kind of crazy. yeah. Yeah, he's not been a great. He he, whenever he gets the ball, you know he's gonna shoot it. But, I mean, maybe that's a Knicks thing, but you know, yeah, I don't know. But I do like the deal for the Mavs, even though there are some concerns with Porzingis. You know, Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis, I think that's great building blocks for their future. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. and it's great to have a veteran like uh, Dirk on the team to kind of guide those little, uh, young fellows, you know? Yeah, all Europeans too. Just yeah. saying that. <laughs> I mean, who would have known? All in Dallas, Texas, like the most American place here. It's just weird how that worked. But um now for the Knicks, it does hurt their odds of getting Zion, which obviously Zion wants to play for the Knicks. Um, Knicks want Zion, but it hurts their odds because Dennis Smith Jr. and DeAndre Jordan, they will make them better. They're going to compete. They're going to go out there every night and try to win. Um, however, it frees up two max contracts for them. Although I heard I heard that they're going to buy out DeAndre Jordan. That could that could happen. That's I don't exactly know. I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't see that, but that could happen. Um, and then you got to look, is it KD and Kyrie? And, but, however, what's the motivation for top free agents to go to New York? Why do I want to go to the Knicks if I'm a top guy? 
I mean, the only the only way that I would go is if I'm KD, I would make sure that Kyrie want to go with me, and the Knicks would have to have Zion. That's the only. I don't way think you have to have Zion, but you got to make sure there's another guy. There's another guy coming, another yeah. big guy with you. In my, um, but also for the Knicks, obviously, how you said salary dump. Courtney Lee was on a four-year, forty-eight million dollar contract, and Tim Hardaway Jr. four-year, seventy million dollar contract. So it obviously is um, good salary dump for them. But they didn't have to get there. They did not have to sign those guys for those awful contracts. Um, Courtney Lee has been doing nothing this year. He hasn't even gotten that many minutes. However, Tim Hardaway Jr. has been putting together a pretty good year. I think he's averaging like nineteen or something. So good year for him. That will help the uh, Mavericks. But I don't know. Like it's good for the Knicks to dump that because uh, now. They do have the possibility of getting two um, top guys when they didn't be coming into today. They didn't have enough space for one, so that's that's huge for them. Um, but again, why go to the Knicks other that's than true. New York, Madison Square Garden? But still, um, Porzingis has already informed the Mavericks that he will accept the qualifying offer next year, meaning he will be an unrestricted free agent in twenty twenty. Um, I get this. I don't think he would have signed a big contract right away and i mean i think dallas is going to try to get him to come back obviously for multiple years um and they'll have a good chance of doing that with Doncic and him but you know 2020 is pretty soon yeah it is i mean it's these next two years in free agency are going to really like shape the league it's really going to be insane yeah i mean it could go a lot of different ways um teams teams that you don't really think about usually are starting to get pretty good like the Kings are putting together a pretty quiet year. I don't know how they've been doing recently, but they're they're not bad anymore. Um, other teams are the same way, um, but it it's changing. Um, free agents. I think a lot of teams are going to go try to get these guys, and it's a huge free agent class too. Yeah, like who knows what's going to happen with the Warriors? Are they going to completely fall apart? I don't think that, so. That's the biggest thing to me because Clay Thompson. What if he goes to the Lakers? KD. What if he leaves? Go to the Knicks. Yeah, I mean it could happen, but I I don't I don't know. It could. Um, I'm not. Um, so that's pretty much uh the trade there. Um, do you have anything else? Do you want to add there? I mean, I think we got most of it. Yeah, I mean, it kind of stinks. We won't know the direct impact of the trade for a little bit mm-hmm, but... because Porzingis is out. I mean, yeah. so. You know, obviously, I think the uh, Mavericks are going to take a little hit here until he comes back. Yeah, but who knows when he comes back? He's not getting reevaluated until uh, mid February, as I said earlier, um, which will be a year after he uh, got hurt. Um, and I don't know how he's going to come back from that. This is a seven three guy who you know plays the way he does. That's never happened before. Who knows how he's going to come back? That's true. Uh, I don't know, but I think the Mavs had to make this deal honestly because you know. When Porzingis is available, a uh, player of his caliber, and you get him for what you got him for, it's not that bad. Yeah, you kind of have to do it. I don't know. Yeah, you have to make Um. So, yeah, I guess that'll be it for this. Um, video. Just um, We'll have a lot of other stuff coming out um, soon. And, uh, yeah, so that, that'll be it. Any Anything else? Uh, Maybe a couple of video ideas. The only thing I know we're going to be doing is like an NFL recap. Right, we gotta get. Yeah. We'll do that after the Super yeah. Once Bowl. the Super Bowl's over, we'll do that. Um, I, 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 a lot on this playoffs. I think it's been a great playoffs. Yeah, it is. A lot of close games, but uh, yeah. So that'll be it for this. Uh, make sure you look out for that, and then other videos come in uh, later. All right, see you.